Um, and I want to thank you very much for the opportunity to speak about this important uh, task force to which, uh, as my colleague has outlined, we offer our full support. Vaccination programmes uh, save lives. We know that there can be no equivocation and they must in and of themselves be supported. When we speak here this evening, the words of Dr. Mary Favier are in my mind. And more importantly, she says vaccines themselves do not save lives. Getting vaccinated saves lives and that's what is actually important just talking about it is important planning for it is important but rolling up your sleeves and actually getting it is uh, is when we're going to see uh, the, the the real benefit so we know that this crisis constitutes the gravest public health crisis that we have uh, encountered in a hundred years over 2,000 people have died and over a million people have died globally from this virus 76,000 people have contracted COVID-19 in this state including people uh, that we work alongside here thankfully many have made a recovery due to the hard work of our medical and health professionals and due to modern medicine however we still do not know the long-term implications of COVID-19 with many of those who have recovered saying that they still experience post-viral symptoms that this further under lines the need to ensure that people do not contract the virus. There are countless people alive and healthy today due to the public health measures, the commitment of the public in adhering to them and the great work of our medical and healthcare professionals. Worryingly, there have been two variant strains of COVID-19 identified in the past two months, one of which has just been identified in Britain in recent days. It must be reiterated that not getting COVID-19 is the very best protection against COVID-19 and the long-term implications until we can roll out the vaccine. Therefore, I would implore people not to let their guard down as we begin the rollout of the vaccine, to stay alert, to stay safe, to mind yourselves and to listen to the public health experts. Thanks to the brilliance and the dedication of the scientific and medical community who have spent every waking minute of the last year investigating and researching this virus, we now have these vaccines in the pipeline. I don't think we can fully quantify the level of intelligence or the amazing work that these people have done. They are the foremost scientists in the world. They have spent so much time investigating and researching this and they have come up with these vaccines. It has been through all of the necessary trials. It's one of the most researched treatments in human history and thankfully it appears to be effective, uh, which is the main thing. Hearing that an effective vaccine has been approved, it felt as good as when the Dubs won five in a row. And indeed, as I'm sure they, they'll do the business for us at the weekend, uh, I'll have a similar feelings when they do the, uh, the six in a row. A task force is, of course, needed and it's welcome. And I want to wish them every success in the work that they will be doing. We need a comprehensive vaccination awareness and uptake campaign to pave the way to ensure a maximum uptake of this vaccine. And I would implore you, Minister, to the, the HSE as well and to the department to work to combat misinformation. And I will cite for you by way of example, uh, leaflets that were dropped in my own constituency in Balbriggan. Um, they seem to target work and class areas. That's very, very worrying. Uh, they say there's no need for a vaccine, of course, because uh, there's no virus. I would like them to, to go and tell that to my cousins who lost their dad to this, uh, to this virus. But they also, uh, these leaflets, they're very slick. A lot of money went into them. They look exactly like the HSE uh, leaflets, like the advice that we get in the door. They, uh, they also make a reference to, uh, to 5G, which I mean, helpfully marks them out uh, for the, the misinformation that they are. But I am deeply, deeply troubled that these leaflets will be dropped in areas where we need to be on the ground with an information campaign to combat that. And we need to go to where people are. So there's no point in us all saying, well, you should just get the vaccine and wagging our fingers at people. We need to be able to speak to people in a way that they can hear and understand how important this is. And we need to be able to cut through this misinformation because it, it frightened me, straight up frightened me when I saw the the state of these leaflets because they are so well produced. They are so slick. I mean, it's one thing to have the uh, people going around the country with the, the, the billboard, uh, the, the lit up billboard saying no vaccines, uh, no virus and all of that, and no masks, etc. And, and they look, I suppose, a, a little bit, um, they look a little bit bonkers and maybe people will have a laugh at that. But these leaflets look exactly like the HSE information leaflets. And it is so important that we combat Thank you, the misinformation contained Thank within you. those and we are willing to work with you Minister, you, to ensure that we can do that.